What up, what up, what up? This is your boy, Mike, the philosopher, and I philosophize. That's right. I'm not to be dismissed or idolized. And I'm here with Black Mel and Sean B. <laughs> and we represent here at the Black Man Rankings. Go to the Black Man Rankings and pick up some of them t-shirts, help out the channel. Let, hit the like, it's free, I promise. And uh, and share this with some BMR. of your friends. Yes, at the BMR. Get those BMR t-shirts, for real. I got one on now. You can't see it, but it's dope. Anyway, go ahead and get them shirts and uh, represent. <laughs> okay. Today's topic yeah, is, yeah. this is all about self-progression. <clears throat> this is all about resolutions and about solutions. Okay. We're, we're, we're interested in self-improving and, and, and building and growing. It doesn't matter what age you are doesn't matter what you got going on you could be a superstar and still need to improve and stuff you could be a billionaire and still need to improve in stuff so it never stops as long as your heart is beating you can improve in some facet of your life so we want to talk about that and i'm gonna start this off with black male and his sombrero okay and i'm gonna ask him uh First of all, do you have a resol uh, or a New Year's resolution? Talk to <clears> me. <throat> no, I don't have a resolution technically like that. I just know I want to get closer, and uh, I, I solemnly believe we are in the last days. And it's probably the first time we said that on this. Well, podcast. man, that's a gloomy, that's a gloomy resolution, Hear what I'm saying. Bro. Hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. It ain't got to be gloomy if you're handling your business, right? Last days. If you're days. doing things right. Hear what I'm saying. If you're doing it right, you look forward to it, right? You look forward to when it's all over. You look forward right? to the last days. Hear what I'm saying? You got a reward waiting on you, right? So listen, in the meantime, in between time, we are going through hell already. So this is the hell, right? But it ain't going to be a hell in vain. So I'm going to make dang show of that, right? So I don't have a resolution. But what I plan on doing is making show, you know, it really do what it do next year. You know, technically, the new year starts March 21st. That's the real new year. That's the real new year, right? When spring says I say March 20th. Flowers, but, you know, but go ahead. March 20th, March 21st, somewhere around it, right? Right. It's the same thing. Spring, right? First day of right. spring. First whatever. day of spring. So, so when the, when the flowers start to come back to life is mm -hmm. my point. Right. That's when the new Rebirth. year starts. Harvest yeah. time. It's seed time and it's harvest, right? Because everything was based off the calendar. Now they switched it because the Bible said they would think to switch times and dates and all that. And they did that. So they, they made the, the harvest time in the dead of winter. So, okay, whatever. Like Christ came back and he was born. and, and Nah, it wasn't none of that right. during uh, the dead of winter. That's, yeah, My can't, point is... can't believe everything you read, man. I'm just saying. Well, it, ain't, it don't say it in there. Oh, okay. So, but that's another thing. Yeah. So, yeah, that's another thing. It don't never say that in the Bible nowhere. So, that's that. But, it but is, my point my is, God. listen, my point is this. I plan on doing a lot of self-improving. Okay. I plan on being more impactful, you know, over here for people. So there's a, listen, man, there's a lot of people out here who just, you know, who don't know, who who don't know what they don't know. And if they knew, they probably would care. You know what I mean? Or if they knew you cared, they probably would care more. You know what I'm saying? But because nobody's bold enough in their masculinity, you know, to reach out an olive branch and just be like, look, man. This is what it is, you know? Like, from my perspective, this is what it is, right? What we do is we get comfortable in the, you know, in the situation that we in, and whatever's familiar is what's acceptable, even if it's terrible. 
it's acceptable because this is all I know. But that is bull. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, that's bull. We need to stop idolizing criminals. We need to stop messing with, dealing with these, you know, uh, Candace Owen type people. Uh, you know, we need to be really about what we own. And that's what I intend to be on this coming new year. You know what I mean? Putting my foot down either f more firmer this this new coming year. I'm probably gonna make more enemies because of it. This new coming year. Because I got principles that I'm standing on. See what I'm saying? You, you, it is what it is. You look like you're ready to pick some oranges, man. I can't get over that, but. <laughs> you ready to farm orange orange or something <laughs> ah, really? like you, you ready to pick something i don't know bro but but let me ask you this though black okay what is the resolution man what is i know you kind of speaking in a little bit of some you know some you like you're ambiguous with it man what what do you want to do in the new year like list the number Check one this. thing give, give me something solid to stick on the wall man listen you know charity starts at home man i'm gonna be a better husband oh bars i um, like it i'm gonna I be like a better it. husband man i've been i've been dropping the ball okay i like yeah, it. i've been dropping the ball yeah i'm gonna be a better father i've been mm. dropping the ball bars i like yeah. it yeah been dropping the ball Mm -hmm. Because in my mind, like the, just just me personally, the way I think, I try to see things two, three, four steps in advance, right? And I and I kind of pride myself on that. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. in other words, I'm working on things that will take place three, four, five years from now. I'm planting the seeds now. Now okay. I'm planting the seeds. Okay. Right? Speaking of the farming thing. I'm planting the seeds now. Something that's going to take place three, four years from now. What, what, what kind of seeds? What kind of seeds those are, man? Cause... These are going to be crazy seeds. <laughs> I see you shine. Crazy <laughs> seeds, right? I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. I got this for a reason. I'm a yeah. farmer. Yeah, I see. You dig? I I'm see. a farmer. Okay. So, okay. so listen, I'm working on stuff that's going to be. I'm talking about. You talk about a power move. Mm. You talk about a power move? Yeah, plant, power plant, move. plant the seeds of better husband. Plant the seeds of better father. It's, it's got to be. Yeah, because right, I've been dropping right. the ball on on a lot of right now stuff. Mm. Right now stuff. And I believe it's okay to admit when you're wrong. Right. Just admit it. You're wrong. Admit that. I ain't got no problem admitting that. You know, people don't well, have no problem telling me that. So well, I ain't got no problem admitting it. What? Well, well, uh, you know, you ain't got to get personal, but just just tell me, man, what would that, what would that look like? How like how can you be a better husband, man? Like, you know what I mean? Like what? Well, for me, I, I know time. I know the the quality of the time that I have throughout the day, the effort that it, that it, that. I can initiate to benefit everybody else around me, you know, can be definitely heightened. You know what oh, I mean? No. Like the conversations, the memories that could be created if I just was in the moment long enough to say, hey, let's do this or let's go there or let's cook this or let's talk about this or let's watch this video, you know, uh, football game or boxing match or whatever you know mm. with, with others you know what i mean and create some type of memories if i was in the moment enough as a father then those memories could be created but i'm so like i gotta get out of this what i'm in you know what i mean because i've been through some shit. right if i'm gonna keep it a buck yeah i've been through some stuff i ain't trying to go through no more ever in my life I ain't never trying to have my kids out here homeless. I ain't never trying to be out here my, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like I've been through some things. So right. in my mind, I'm putting things in motion that's going to alleviate that forever. But it's at the sacrifice 
of right now. And they don't see it. Don't nobody see it but me. But you can't explain that to nobody who's living in the right now. You just got to show it. Right? See. You just got to show so, it. So it's a, it's, a, it's a duet situation. It's a problem. You know what I mean? I'm off balance. Mm. So in the new year, now that I got some things kind of in motion, uh -huh. I got to pull back off the future and I got to deal with now. Right, right. And I'm, a, I'm just being vulnerable. I'm just being honest. I'm not I, I I'm like dropping that. the ball with now. Well, I, I like that, man. But the honesty and transparency. Sean, B, talk to me, man. Yes, what is sir. your, uh, what they would call a New Year's resolution? And, and give me and give me a solution to your resolution. So I'm gonna give you. Uh, um, give me the resolution first. I'm gonna give you an actual. I'm gonna give you the resolution and an actual quantifiable goal. So this might, to probably most men, not sound like much, but being able to bench press 250 pounds, 25 times, no spider. Okay. Um, Can I ask you a I question? I actually wanted to accomplish that on my 25th birthday. Can What's I, that? Why, why, why is that a resolution? Because it's a resolution that I've said for the, like, the last four years. But I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm, I'm going to be 30 next year. So it's about that time I actually start accomplishing some of my real personal goals. My okay. financial... You know, I've accomplished those goals, jobs and, you know, um, I guess progression in life, you know, but as far as taking care of myself personally, you know, I look at some two, three hundred dollar pair of shoes like, whoa, no, I'm not spending that. But why not? I deserve nice stuff. I work hard for it. Right. You know, uh -huh. um, if I'm a go and drop X amount of dollars on a Christmas, you know, or what have you. I could definitely do that for myself, not to sound selfish, but. Uh, 2022 looks like self-care for me. It looks like figuring out um, a more definitive career path. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I know is that, you know, to be wealthy, you got to have seven sources of income. And so uh, I guess in my life, I've had an interest in, let's just say, seven different things, you know. So I never really, like, pushed one specific thing. I just really market instead of really tapping into my own potential. So again, quantifiable goal is to be able to do 250, 25 times, but it's based out of self-care. Going to the gym and staying dedicated to improve uh, myself. Hey, as we, good as whatever. Hey, you all kind of broke up on us. Kind of broke us all up on us a little bit, Sean. You know, my spouse would be. I said, I said, long story short, just 2022 looks like self care. You know, trying to be the best me. You know, uh, a part of me got that competition in me where I want to be the best. Like, there's some niggas too cute out here, baby. I'm fine. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna bite my teeth up. You know what I'm saying? I'm right, a, right. You know, I'm gonna I'm get fit. You know, 2022 look like self care for me. You know. That's, that's dope. That's you can't dope. really be you can't be there for nobody if you're not there for yourself. You can't really be a strong backbone if you haven't built your own solid backbone. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. So hey, hey, everything uh, I wanna do. Everything you wanna do. Dope, dope. Hey Ski, uh welcome in the in the building. We got Ski, Kamal Risto in the building. Uh we talking resolutions and solutions. What what is your uh, do you have a New Year's resolution and and what what is the solution to your resolution? I don't I don't have a resolution. Okay, you just have, have a, a revolution, solution. huh? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I see, Sean. It's about getting right. You know, you know where I'm at with it. It's about getting right at the end of the day. And this is uh, this uh, the uh, you know that dude you was talking about Caesar in them calendar anyway. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So you saying? Yeah, Gregory. You, 
so you're saying it's about getting right. I, I'm assuming you're talking about the most high. You want to get right with the most high, and I get it. Uh, what is the so, solution well, to that? What, get, that? what that look like? We can read. You got to be prepared. You know, it's a storm coming. You know, let these heathens tell it. You see it. You know. It ain't no, it ain't sneaking up on us at all, you know. Right, right. <laughs> but, but, what? Give me, give me some tangibles. What's some solutions, though? I already told you. It's, it's time to get. I right. mean, I mean, other than Make just reading, just bro. reading. Yeah, yeah. Something we can, we can measure. Like, how, how are you going to do that? Are you going to go to, go to, you know, you gonna, you gonna pray more? You gonna go to church more? What you gonna do? To get right, oh, you're gonna you're gonna help others more. You know, I got what I got. I got what I need. You know, you don't need much. You know, let's read. You know, I don't need much. So it's 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 all it's all in you know, the book. I told you before, I, I, I was telling you before. You know, like I was a poor righteous teacher. No, just now I, you know. It says, thou art rich, you know, that's where I'm at with it. It is time to get right. You know? Thou art it's rich. Game, you know? Right, right. I'm just spiritually, you know, everything else, you know, it's, it's following the ways of the heathens, you know, and I'm not going. So in other words, you can't really quantify it or give me any kind of tangibles, but, you know, if you read the book, you'll you'll be on the right path. Just read the book more. Is that is that another way of saying it? You're prepared, yeah. The king coming. We know what's going on, you know? So how much more would you say you would read the book as opposed to what you're currently doing? Good you question. do it pretty much every day, every week, a couple times a day? No, <clears throat> it's a storm coming, you know? It might not right. be good. Uh, for the saints, you know, the ones before us, it wasn't good. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're going to do what we do. You know, I'm just going to, you know, not comply. <laughs> yeah. There ain't no solution to this, you know. It's, just, it's what it is, you know. Is this good is, and evil. Is this Babylon? Is this... Let me say this, man. Um, it seemed like, and, and I'm not trying to pick on nobody right but it just seemed to me like a lot of people especially melanated people only live to die that kind of gets under my skin a little bit like why do we what only we, live we, why do we only live to die man we we, we look forward to the to the you know you know the end is coming the sky is falling and you know god is going to come save those only one third of and the two thirds are going to die, and and you know, only thing we can look forward to really is <laughs> passing away. It's like no, that ain't what it I mean, say. Let's okay, read. okay, yeah, yeah. To explain yeah. it to me more, because I, I don't, maybe I don't understand it. That's why I said get right. Yeah, I well, know, but get I guess right to, to kind of summarize, this ain't, this uh, to kind of summarize, I don't believe it. that we're living to die. Um, but what I can say is when you look at what the black people in America have been through, um, boy, they did a number on our people. I mean, when you look at what we've been through, people going to look at the end of all of that as kind of peaceful. Like you ain't got to deal with none of this, bro. I mean, you think about ever since we've been over here since the establishment of this country it's like when you read the history books the, the ones that they willing to put out and the ones when you actually do your own research it's crazy but so so for one to want to get closer to god just makes sense you know it yeah and, god and, and, provides peace yeah and i and i get that so, and i get that but it to me it just seems as though all of our answers are in the afterlife and none of them are in the life like i see people on this planet living their heaven right now okay and all we what all, is that though? We, what is that we, what is all heaven? we look forward to is what happens after this life like it's going to be something more spectacular and better and that just kind of 
it, it, because what it does is it tells you don't do nothing for your people for yourself for don't don't do nothing you just got to wait for the next life then that will fix everything that you feel in in this life so don't do nothing it keeps you passive that's why they tried to teach that and preach that especially to our people because they knew it would pacify us and keep us docile so i don't i don't believe in the whole that that's perception that's perception the bible does not say to do nothing the bible says to do what those two just said they about to do it says to get right and it also says to uplift your voice it's it's, Um, it's um, it says to to, it just says to me live to die i mean everything that the end is coming uh uh, two-thirds of us is going to get wiped out that's what black said okay and it's only going to be a third of us left and ain't nothing there, there there's gray skies and doom and gloom until you die once you die then the, the heavens will open up and that's just i don't know i i, I just you cannot can with that and, and, and people who and the people who so think me, like me. that will do nothing for the now they will do nothing for the now because they're not thinking about now they're thinking about right, the so afterlife let me, let me speak on that real quick so the, the thing, one of the things that I noticed in what you're saying is, all right, boom, doom and gloom, afterlife, you know, then it gets greater and there's some people living good lives now from, from what you say is a, is a good life. What we don't understand is this is not our rest. This place was never meant to be for our benefit. Right. I don't, I don't everywhere that. that we're this this whole season is a wilderness season where we are the people of the book right when I say the book I mean the Bible the stories the ancient iconic stories that was recorded was about us personally about our bloodline and what we recorded was to be the recording of our demise our punishment this is all a punishment because of our disobedience, right? So we don't people supposed, to do that. You're not supposed to live a, a a a glorious life where everything is is you blowing bubbles and chewing gum and you frolicking through flowers. This ain't supposed to be that. If if listen, man, when my kids got in trouble, right? They got in trouble. Right now, if you recorded them while they was in trouble, they wouldn't talk nothing about frolicking and having fun and and what's wrong with the the goodness. Where I'm waiting on. Well, listen, if you're waiting on good times, get right. You see what I'm saying? Because there ain't no getting right if you're wrong. And right now, most of us, because of disbelief and disobedience, are simply wrong. And we don't even know we wrong, but we confident in our wrongness. So we're going to keep living wrong and wondering why everything ain't right. All right. Well, let me, uh, let, me let, let me get to my uh, resolutions here. Um, hold on. Hold on. Before we go on. You hear what I just said? Yeah, I hear Before it. Before you go on to your resolution. I, I hear it, but I don't agree, man, because I, I just think that um especially people in the religious realm they they think that you know it's all it's all going to be made right when when we die and when we go to listen heaven. check this out let me make a quick statement and then you do what you got to oh, say there's nothing brand. that i said has anything to do with religion nothing that i just spoke on anything what, to do what, with actual religion what would you right? call it what would you call it, Black? Well, what, what I just said was right and wrong. Ain't nothing religious about right and wrong. I, no, I'm it ain't, talking it ain't, about us is getting right. Like we said that several times. Getting right with what? It's about and with getting who? Right. Getting right with what and with who? It's getting right with your creator, your father. If That's your religious, father man. Do something that ain't religious. That is religious. You look look the definition. Oh, up. my religion. creator, my creator. Okay, I want to get right with my mother and my father. Because they're my creators. Okay. okay. And beyond that, and are we beyond, gonna be no, that, that's where that's where the you buck stops. What I'm, that's you where the buck where stops. The creator is, my right? mother and my father. And honestly, Listen, I look well, at them. I'm gonna speak for the. 
I'm going to speak for the people who know. I'm going to speak for the people who over. know. Your creator was created. If that's as far as you go, you're limited. I'm going to go no, beyond I'm not. that. No, I'm not. So the original I'm accurate, creator, actually. You dig? Original creator of me, you, your grandfather, your great, and all your other greats is who I'm talking about. The big picture. Ancestors? I told yeah, you. Yeah, the ancestors. The I, I, can, I can go down the ancestor line. I told you. I can go I'm down the ancestor years, line. Four years, four I'm down the line with it when what I speak. I ain't just right now. Okay, That's three, four years. Four generations, listen, you mean, down the line or years? So let me, what are you talking about? It's, it's beyond what you talk about. Let's leave it at that. I'm talking so about I'm the immediate creators, All right, my so parents. Listen, that don't go far enough. But even we can use them. If they tell you to do something and you don't do it, is there a punishment attached to it? Is there a punishment? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes or Especially, no? Definitely. Well, I'm not under their care anymore, okay? When, I, you know, I, 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 I take care of myself. So there's when no... When you were... When I was, yeah, I had to answer to my parents as most people okay. do. Okay. So with that being said, that is the principle to which I'm speaking. The creator who never stopped providing for us, by the way, we're still <laughs> under his care to this day. As grown as you that, think you, 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 you are. Use, you use my <laughs> situation with my parents and you flopped it and put it on yeah, uh, because uh, another creator. And I didn't do that. No, well, I don't need, look, I know the kind, I know the circumstance and I know uh, the example you're trying to give, okay? I'm not but, trying. Okay, well. I just did. Well, you, you tried, you tried. But what you did is you did a bait and switch, okay? You use my own personal uh, situation with my parents and then you put a creator on it, okay? That, that, I cannot see nor hear. That's a difference between my parents. They are tangible people, okay? I share both of their DNA. So they are my creators, okay? And and I do look at them divinely. I do. Both of them. So and all, and that, all man. and all the ancestors. I don't believe that. But but I'm not I mean, I'm not trying to live a life only to die to hope that Everything is better in an afterlife, okay? People who thought that way put so buildings through a right now put, put you got all through a building, okay? Why it ain't better because they now. thought that they would get a certain amount of virgins and all this, that, and the third. They thought everything would be glorious in the afterlife. I'm not living a life for that. Look, everybody is going to have their number called at one point. I'll figure it out when that happens. But as, as of right now, it. as long as I'm in this energy, okay? Because all we are is energy. OK, as long as I'm in this form of energy, I am going to make the best of this situation. OK, and then Although the energy be can be dispersed. You know, you the energy like you can be dispersed answers. and it can do what it, what it, what it wants to do saying. after that. But I am encapsulated in this energy right now, and I got to make gotta the really best of this. I got to look out for to figure out why things ain't so I'm trying to look right out now. for seeds that that I create. OK, and, and so what you got like as far as I'm concerned, heaven is through uh, lineage. That's what heaven is. It's through survival. Okay, you're supposed to capture a, pe a, a moment of heaven through your uh, offspring. Okay, if you if you become a billionaire and you die with no offspring, that ain't heaven because your money goes back to the government and you have no genetic offspring to hand it down to i just watched a video from jay-z today and the lady asked him uh so uh uh this guy said uh this rich guy said that uh you know it's better to hand off or, or a, a a man who dies rich is a selfish man what do you think about that jay-z said well i plan on leaving my wealth to my kids because we didn't have a situation where we could be, uh, you know, uh, have have Jay resources. Said. Well, yeah, and he said that, you know, we had we didn't have a generation where we could um, experience wealth, so we always got to keep starting over. He said, "I'm not going to do that with my kids. I'm going to give my wealth to my kids. I'm a, I'm going to donate to some places, but as far as." my kids go i'm going to give them the wealth because 
we need to start that over because a lot of okay, other no other wrong cultures with him giving his kids well. Yeah. But, no but, what I'm, but what I'm saying is the bottom line is heaven is through lineage. Heaven is through uh your 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 hmm. genetics. It's not According through some philosophy? made up sky mm. yes, from the philosopher. It's 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 okay. not through a made That's up a... image that they, so they wait wrote in a book that you could uh you, you could tap into. I didn't even get to my resolution yet. Uh, I was ahead. just about to say, go go with your solution, your resolution, and I got a question for you. All right, my what's, your, what's your resolution? All right, my resolution <laughs> is. It's pretty much on the same page as, as Shine. It's gonna be and, and you too, Black. It's gonna be self care. It's gonna be you know uh, getting in a in 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 great physical shape. It's gonna be getting in great financial shape. It's gonna be uh, possibly getting in great uh, relationship shape. Um, as far as you know, uh, my kids, my significant other, uh, my money. I want great and my body i want great relationships with all those forms okay and uh that's that's, cool. that's what i'm looking for and that's my resolution um but we kind of ran out of time y'all so we're gonna we're gonna have heaven to chop it up again heaven heaven it's is rulership. lineage heaven is lineage thanks for joining it's us rulership. this is mike the philosopher Mind like share and subscribe and sister bmr covered the opposite it. Of come on now now it's official it's rulership. since i said it's lineage <laughs> peace